This is not good. Oh wow. Hi, I'm Melissa and I'm French. Hi, I'm Anthony and I'm American. Hi, my name is Ellie and I'm French. I'm Becky and I'm American. I love all cheeses. I've never found a cheese I don't love. I have had American cheeses, but I'm not a huge fan. Brie is French. Yes. It's the only yes. cheese I know for sure is French. It's mellow. It's delicious. But it's good. Yeah. I expect something very smelly. <laughs> something really pungent. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I stand by the line, the stinkier the cheese, the better yes. it is. Yes, okay, good. Then you'll this love French cheese. The best day ever. Um, I expect to eat something that doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> like chemicals? Yeah, exactly. Let's bring on the cheeses. We're starting with brie. Which yes. Is Excellent, what a way to start. It's a little more mellow than other cheeses like Camembert, but it's good, it's creamy, it does the job, and it's delicious. So for the American side, we have a nice baby Swiss. You can tell by the holes that it's a Swiss. I assume it's a baby Swiss because it's less mature than an adult I Swiss. Think so. That sounds right. So we're going baby Swiss first, right? Yeah, with a cracker, I believe. Okay. That's how you eat it, right? Cracker. We have to use a cracker. It's a rich cracker. Come yeah, on. that is like such an American thing. All right. Cheers. Ready? Cheers. Hmm. This is very American. I feel like I should have like a small glass of cheap wine. Of cheap wine. Yeah. This is actually good. I mean. Mm -hmm. It does taste like cheese. There's yeah. not a lot of flavor in it. It doesn't taste like anything. It needs mustard. Swiss cheese always goes better with mustard. Now let's do some real cheese. Yes, that's fair. Cheers. Mmm. That's more like it. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Ah, oh, so creamy. Yeah, it's pretty good. It is very mild. Yes. Now that you say this that, is a like, more mild. yeah, but it's very creamy. And like it coats your mouth. Mm -hmm. Compared to the, the baby though, it's got a lot more flavor. No? I think that they do different things. Yeah. Like I wouldn't put the Swiss and the brie on the same sandwich. Like I would totally. put them on different sandwiches. Totally, totally. And I would also be more likely to eat the brie just like this. I think I like the brie better. Yeah. Personally. Oh yeah. It's got more flavor to it, more. More character. Yeah, more it's character. It's really, yeah, no, I agree. Brie. No one told me there'd be choices if I had to pick. I think I would go Swiss because I would like it on a really good grilled cheese. This is Epoise. This is kind of, it really melts in your mouth. It looks like a brain. So I'm not kidding when I say the smellier the better, really. Mm. So I think maybe we should start with the American one because after this one, you're not gonna taste okay. that one. You yeah, it'll I mean? probably blow it out of the water, sure. For the American, we have a Colby, which is a bit of a stronger flavor. Yeah. Um, most often it's paired with like a jack cheese or something. Sure. Uh, not always on its own, but I like it. It's delicious. Colby's always been good, you know? It's like a safe cheese. It, it is. It's like you it's know? like a kid's cheese. Yes. <laughs> it's just kind of like a right down the road cheese. I agree. Yeah. I don't see a lot of difference with the previous one. I agree. See, that's the problem with American cheeses, is that to me, they all kind of taste the same. This is something you would serve to a kid, like yeah. an after school snack cheese. That's good. Smell it first. Okay, <laughs> so that's something. Ooh, that yeah. smells delicious. Yeah, it's strong. Yeah. It smells almost like nutty or toasted. Yeah, I don't know. it almost smells like wine. <laughs> that's, that's got some character to it. Mm hmm. Mm. Super good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's very pungent, but like in a taste wise, I don't know how to. It's like not tart, but it's got a little bit of almost not sourness. I don't know what I'm looking for here, but it's. Mm. I see what you mean. Yeah. Pretty you can strong. taste the funk in that. It kind of burns. Yeah. It's got a, it's got a good amount of funk. That's good though. It's super creamy. It doesn't taste <clears throat> like the smell, right? Because mm. no. the smell can be repulsive to certain people, but yeah. when you eat it, it's actually delicious. If I had to pick, I would probably pick the French one yeah. in this case. Me too. Hundred percent French one. My breath is already. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for me, it would really depend on the situation. Like, this is more something that I would eat with a meal versus at a party. And again, if I'm in a party, I would go for the Colby, probably. I, no, that's a great way to put it. This is more of like a nibbling cheese. Yeah, exactly. And this is sort of like, you build something around this. Yeah, because this like, really, like, you have to ooh. imagine it with, like, grapes and things like that around mm. it, and it That'll really makes it delicious. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, that's an interesting looking cheese, I have to say. I <coughs> yeah. mean, this is very creative. It's just regular old <laughs> cheddar. This is Wisconsin cheddar. Okay. It's just wrapped in a in a delightful black oh. uh, wax. See, I've never tried that. This is Roquefort. So Roquefort is what blue was? cheese. It goes really well with sweet stuff as well, like honey and fig jam and yeah. things like that. Well, it's, it's really powerful. So like to be complimented with something sweet. Yeah, I don't, I don't eat that much blue cheese, I'm not gonna lie. I'll eat that whole block in oh, front of everyone. Yeah. God and God is my witness. I will eat that in front of this camera. Oh, just smell I'm it, just I'm smell excited. it. It's, this is good. It's strong and it's just America. Mm. Mm. That's more my style. I love a good shark I like shark this cheddar. one, yeah, this is really good. Mm -hmm. This is what you want in a mac and cheese. This is good. Yeah. This is this is just, oh. For American cheese, this is good, and this is a good Wisconsin mm -hmm. cheddar, mm -hmm. you know? It's a little, it's it's almost a little funky, you know? Yeah. This, this actually is, has character, this is why, this is probably the most popular mm. cheese in America. I'm just gonna say that, I don't know if it's true. I actually like this one a lot. Yeah. I think it tastes great. Mm -hmm. You can just nom on this all by itself. I am so ready. I love blue cheese, and this looks like the funkiest oh, blue gonna, cheese I've ever, like, I've ever with. Pile it up on yours, then. Oh, oh, oh. I'm nervous. It's, it's strong. Oh, I may have eaten a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's got a tang. Oh. You know it's strong cheese when you can like feel it here. Burning, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, mm -hmm. I can't. I forgot how powerful this one is. I actually just got a little tear my eye. Oh my um, God. Wow. Yeah, it's really tart. It's very, it's almost sour. It's really so much better when it has something like in a salad or something else to really complement it. This is not something that you eat. No, you don't just take own. blocks of this and really go at it. That's for sure. But I have to say, even in France, like not everybody's a big fan because it's so strong. Mm -hmm. Cheddar. Oh. Hold on, I'm still That's thinking about too it. Too funky, too funky for me. It depends on what I'm doing. If I have to be around other people, I'm going the cheddar. You don't. If I'm just alone. You're alone. Then it's the it's gonna be the blue. It's the blue, so yeah. we're, we're, we're swapping this time. Mm -hmm. If I had to choose, I would pick the cheddar. My first American cheese so far. Um, you know what? I kind of like the cheddar too, to be honest. French people are gonna hate me, I'm so sorry, but I like the cheddar better. Although this is really good too. I'm not saying it's not good. In its own way. Yeah. This is American cheese slices. Cheese slices. This is cheese. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the presentation. Yeah, it says it is, all. This is so American. Is this cheese? No, that's not cheese. I am not a fan. I have not been a fan for a very long time. Grilled Although, cheeses on grilled cheese. No, use oh. real cheese. Be a grown okay. up. You can just roll it up and just kind of like nibble at it. <laughs> You're probably going to want it the cracker too, but let's just go like this first. Oh my God. Cheers. It's all sticky and Yeah, stuff. it sure is. <laughs> This is not good. Oh wow. So. Oh, it tastes like plastic. So my kid palate Ugh. was way different than my adult palate. It smells like nothing. Oh, it's not as bad as I remember. It tastes like nothing. It tastes like cream of nothing. I used to be like repulsed by these, but now it's not so bad. I don't think this is a fair representation of American cheese. I know it's a cultural representation, but I don't think it's a fair one. Now, let's talk about real cheese. Yeah, what is this? This is camembert. Ooh. Yes. I've heard of that from like Wallace and Gromit, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a brie, it's a little creamier, and it's stinkier. So I think you'll like this. Those are sure. some of my favorite adjectives if for cheese. If you like the brie and you like the Roquefort, then this is this is worth it. Okay, so Fancy. I cut you a huge piece. Can That's you smell fine. it? Can you smell the smell? Whoa! Right? Whoa! Yeah. It doesn't smell bad like um, uh, the other one I can't pronounce, but the Roquefort. Roquefort. Yeah, it's still it's got a lot of it's kind of appetizing. Yeah. The smell. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Really good. Yeah. This is just good on its own. I think, yeah, this one's yeah. one of the best. Ooh. Mild, and then it like turns into something else a little bit. Yeah, there's that sharp, sort of almost bitter It is a little. Thing, yeah. Right? But it's not overpowering. Like mm -hmm. the, um, oh, I keep forgetting the name of it. Hoikva? Hoikva. <laughs> Close. I'm just gonna make this quick and easy. I pick the French one. Yes, me too. I kind of pick this one over all the cheeses. 
I'm gonna pick um, the. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm picking the, the camembert. If you really pick that one, I would flip the table and knock out. <laughs> no. I would definitely pick the camembert. I hope you too. All right, I'm gonna go for the uh, camembert. <laughs> Yay! Sorry. Yeah, sorry everyone. <laughs> Trying those French cheeses was an amazing experience. This is the best day I've had in a long time. I think that the French really have their cheeses down. It's, it's a lot more character. I yes. like that it's creamy and that it's stinky and that it has character and funk. It's very different from the American palate though, which, you know, some of them can be kind of revolting in a way, but you have to like, you can learn to love them because mm -hmm. they have a lot of different flavors to them. American cheese is good too. It's a little firmer, it's mm -hmm. a little more mild, yeah. but like going hand to hand, it's hard to beat French cheese. The French cheese is like really a whole cultural thing for us. It's so magical and important. It's such a big part of our culture. I'd absolutely try French cheese again. It's It's got a lot of character, it's got a lot of taste to it and flavor. Yeah, Just a, like it's the a French ride. people. Thank <laughs> you.